Hey guys, my name is Kiran and you're very welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be discussing a company called Illumina, who are at the epicenter of the genomic revolution. The genomic revolution is an area of biotech which can fundamentally change how we diagnose and cure disease. And it's been made possible by technology which allows us to read and edit our DNA. This means that we can go beyond just treating symptoms and instead permanently fix the underlying root cause of disease. This technology has the potential to disrupt the medical industry the same way the streaming technology has disrupted the entertainment industry. In this video, I'm going to give an overview of the genomic revolution and the part Illumina play. I'm going to break down Illumina as a company and outline some of the markets that they serve and the growth opportunity. I'm going to go through Illumina's fundamentals and stock price. And finally, I will give you my opinion on Illumina as a long-term investment and let you know if I'm going to be buying the company or not. As always, this video represents my opinion only, so you should always do your own research before making any investment decisions. Also, if you'd be so kind as to give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it because it really helps grow the channel and it helps YouTube recommend this video so others get to see it. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the genomic revolution is being driven by technology which allows us to read and write our own DNA. One of the first major milestones in the genomic revolution was the completion of the Human Genome Project in 2003, where the first full human genome was sequenced. And this was done at a cost of $2.7 billion, and it took 13 years of computational power to complete. Fast forward to today, and the full human genome can be sequenced in a day for a cost of just $800. This reduction in both time and cost is the driving force behind the genomic revolution. Illumina make the machines which sequence DNA, and they've played a pivotal role in driving this technology forward, driving down the cost and driving down the time required to sequence human genomes. Hundreds of other companies leverage Illumina's technology to advance medical science and drive the genomic revolution forward. But Illumina are well and truly at the epicenter of this revolution. They are the market leader and they have a colossal share in the sequencing market. Their machines are used to sequence 90% of all DNA that's sequenced worldwide. As costs continue to decline, the demand for sequencing has been growing and growing. ARK Invest, an investment firm which is focused on disruptive innovation, believe that the number of human genomes sequenced could increase from 2.6 million genomes in 2019 to 105 million in 2024. That's a 40x increase in just five years. Among the reasons for this growing demand, ARK Invest contribute massive growth from the use of sequencing in clinical oncology. Using sequencing, tumor-derived DNA fragments circulating in the bloodstream can be identified. Oncologists then use this information to match patients to therapies without the need for invasive tissue biopsies. Clinical trials are underway to increase sequencing and its use in oncology, not only to effectively screen for cancer, even where the person has absolutely no symptoms, but also to monitor patients in remission for occurrences. All in all, ARK Invest believes that the price to sequence the human genome will fall to roughly $200 by 2024 and the market will grow at a rate of 43% annually to grow revenues from $3.5 billion in 2019 to $21 billion in 2024. So Illumina then are a global leader in genomics, an industry at the intersection between biology and technology. At a fundamental level, they enable clinicians and researchers to read and understand genetic variations so that they can make better informed medical decisions. Illumina's revenue comes from selling instruments, but the majority of their revenue actually comes from selling the consumables required to run the instruments. Illumina's revenue is comprised of two distinct genomic technologies, sequencing and microarrays. The sequencing units are used to sequence full genomes where the targeted DNA region is not known. So this is where we want to analyze a full human genome for either research or clinical reasons to see if there's any variation across the full genome. And these units account for 88% of Illumina's revenue. The other 12% then is from microarrays. And these units are used to analyze specific areas of the genome for specific targeted reasons such as known genetic mutations or for direct to consumer products such as ancestry test kits. In 2019, Illumina shipped 2,400 of these units worldwide, the most shipments in Illumina's history. 
Over the years, Illumina has been fundamental in reducing the cost to sequence the genome. You can see here that they've reduced costs from 2010 of $15,000 per genome to in the region of $800 now in 2020. They've managed to grow their customer base by 10x and they've reduced costs from 20x. So this is a great example of very good depreciation whereby the depreciation in the technology is actually opening up new customer bases and new market opportunities. Their 2020 key focus areas then are to enable breakthrough genomics research by supplying the instruments and the systems and the technology that researchers need to do research in genomics, to accelerate clinical adoption of genomics by partnering with regulatory bodies and customers who are trying to get approval for the use of genomics in clinical settings, and to advance technology leadership and innovation by funding genomic startups and by partnering with key companies in the genomic space to advance technology. Illumina then serves five emerging growth markets, non-invasive prenatal testing, rare undiagnosed diseases, population genomics, oncology and consumer. And the opportunity within each of these markets is phenomenal. If we look at non-invasive prenatal testing adoption, we see that there's 140 million annual births. 70 million of these are in developed countries with access to genomics. And out of these, only 8 million parents actually get non-invasive prenatal testing. So that's only 20% saturation. So you can see that there's huge growth left in this market. So they're focused on improving patient outcomes for genetic diseases. So 300 million people live worldwide with some form of genetic disease. And you can see here that there's over 6,000 genetic diseases. And in today's world, it can take over five years to get an accurate diagnosis of a genetic disease. So there's so many stories of parents with young children who go years and years with undiagnosed, seriously debilitating, if not life-threatening diseases. And often they go bankrupt just trying to discover what the disease is, never mind actually treat it. So the availability of this testing means almost instantaneous, accurate diagnosis of some of these really rare, absolutely life-threatening and debilitating diseases. In terms of cancer then in oncology, Illumina are partnering with various companies to try and drive early screening, therapy selection and monitoring. You can see in each of these segments that the adoption rate is very, very low. So less than 1% in early screening and monitoring and then around 8% in therapy selection. So there's a huge opportunity to grow the markets in each of these segments. I think the early screening one is a massive potential market. Essentially a bit of background here, Illumina through their prenatal testing going back years ago discovered that there was um, an abnormality in the genes of some of the women that they were testing and they followed these women and later discovered that they actually had cancer but that they were unsymptomatic. So then Illumina actually spun off a company called Grail that got funding from both Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates and Grail is focused on the early detection of cancer through blood samples. So not only will this detect it far earlier than a lot of the current detection methods which rely on you having some symptom before they can check you, it's also completely non-invasive and highly, highly accurate. So I think the growth opportunity in this market is massive. At the start of this year, Illumina also announced a partnership with Roche to boost the adoption of sequencing-based oncology tests. So Roche will develop and distribute in vitro tests for some of Illumina's systems. Another huge tailwind for Illumina is the increasing number of large population studies being undertaken by governments. For instance, the UK Biobank is now operating at full scale using Illumina's instruments to sequence 500,000 genomes by the summer of 2021. Illumina has said that there are over 50 population studies getting underway globally, which are expected to increase revenues over the coming years. Illumina also serves the direct-to-consumer genetic testing market. Now, this market actually declined in 2019, but as you saw earlier, there are microarray systems which are used for this market only make up about 12% of Illumina's actual revenue. So while this market is actually declining, it's not going to have a huge impact on Illumina. And I'm not really concerned about this because I'm much more excited about the growth in the full genome sequencing space and the various clinical applications that I've just described to you earlier. As I mentioned, Illumina also works with various genetic partnerships in giving them funding, but also support and experience to try and develop their ideas in the space of genomics. So over 38 startups have collectively raised 340 million through 2019. I think this is a great example of how Illumina are 
fundamentally committed to driving technology and R&D and advancing the genomics industry. They also have Illumina Ventures, which is an independently managed firm focused on early stage companies that are pioneering new applications of genomics and enabling precision medicine. So, so far, Illumina has invested 100 million in these ventures. And I think this is another potential upside for Illumina. Any of these ventures could see huge growth in the future, which could be another tailwind for Illumina. They really do have their hands in all things genomics. When we look at Illumina's fundamentals, Illumina has achieved 20 consecutive years of revenue growth. Each time they've brought out new technology, they've managed to increase their revenues by driving down the cost. On average, they've increased revenues at a rate of 13% annually since 2015. So Illumina is very much a growth company. If we look at their balance sheet and Q1 of this year, we can see that they've 1.9 billion in cash and total assets of 7.2 billion. And if we compare this then to their total current liabilities of just 1 billion, we can see that Illumina is well set up to weather any storms this year that might come. If we look at their income statement then, we can see that they've generated 3.5 billion revenues in 2019 and that they have a massive 70% gross margin. And with a 28% operating margin, that left 1 billion in net income or $6.7 earnings per share. It's worth noting as well how they spend 20% of revenue on R&D. Again, this means that they continue to innovate and remain ahead of the competition. Okay, so if we go to the stock chart then, we can see that Illumina is trading currently at a price of 309, and they recently hit a two-year low at a price of 233 back in March of this year. They hit an all-time high in January 2019, and since a high in September of 2018, they've really just kind of traded sideways and a little bit downwards. Over the past five years, the stock has rallied from the mid 100s and, you know, kind of traded in this 300 range then. If we take a look at the summary table then, we can see that Lumen has a market cap of 45 billion. So this isn't a small company by any stretch. And we can see that they're trading for a P of 48 so not particularly cheap either so guys i think illumina is a great company with a really really strong moat and a strong history of growing earnings and revenues they've managed to maintain their moat over the years through acquisitions and r d and they serve markets with huge potential tailwinds on into the future if genomics really does transform the medical industry the way we expect it might the stock is trading at a PE of about 47, so it's relatively expensive if they're to continue growing at the pace they've grown in the past of kind of 9-10% annually. But if we are to believe that the upside in genomics is to play out over the coming years and they can increase growth at a rate of maybe 20 or even 30%, never mind 43% as ARK Invest expect, well then the stock is actually cheap considering the growth ahead of it. In terms of risks, well of course, the obvious one is that Illumina loses market share, but look, they're currently at 90% market share. It's just unfounded. And the odds are they will probably lose some over the years, especially if this space becomes as profitable as, you know, we hope it might. But, you know, that doesn't really matter. I think they still have a huge moat. They continue to invest in R&D. They continue to advance the technology. You know, they really are the historical leaders in this space, and I don't see why that's going to change into the future. I think this is really one to watch this year, especially seen as they've withdrawn guidance for 2020 with everything that's going on in the world. If they do get severely impacted by earnings in Q2 of this year, then we might see the stock drop back to a level seen in March to as low as 230 or 240. And I think at those levels, this becomes a very attractive company to buy. So guys, I really enjoyed researching this space. I find Illumina a really interesting company. And I think the upside uh, potential is massive if genomics really does take off in the clinical setting as they expect it to. The technology is fascinating and it's amazing how it can transform the lives of patients, especially those dealing with these rare genetic diseases. Go and look at some of the case studies that um, are widely available and some of the research that's happening. It's really, really uh, amazing stuff. So guys, I hope you got value out of this video. If you did, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much for watching and have a lovely day.